hello hello yeah okay so now uh, this program uh, gedit tcp.tcl so in this program i am going to implement the congestion control so you know that tcp uh, has a well congestion control because it is having a window in concept but udp does not have any windows and uh, for your information tcp has a sliding window protocol sliding window means first five packets have been sent for example 1 2 3 4 5 five packets are sent from the source to destination now the destination has to send the acknowledgement for all the five packets now assume that the packet number 1 has been uh, i mean the acknowledgement for packet number 1 has come to the source now there are only four more packets are pending 2 3 4 5 okay now the source will send the sixth packet so 2 3 4 5 6 now the window will move from left to right because packet number 1 already the acknowledgement received so the sliding window concept so at a time in window there will be 5 will be the initial number now based on the window size now what happens is over a period of time the tcp will send more packets so the window will enlarge so in the right hand side when the windows goes then the window size will be increasing and whenever the acknowledgement comes the window size will be shrinking so that is how the window is been used now how ns2 handles the window size how ns2 deal with the window size and in turn how the congestion happens okay so now before that i will just uh, go into uh, the source code of tcp tcp so now we were we were seeing agent slash tcp right so agent slash tcp and here is the source code of it so this is what the algorithm of there is a file called as tcp.cc this is a source code this is the algorithm of tcp protocol now we can see that uh, agent slash tcp now can you see this here agent slash tcp so this is the agent slash tcp we are using inside our tcl program so whenever you write set tcp new agent slash tcp automatically this class is called from the backend so this object is been called now when this object is called so this is same name of the class it is called as a constructor so when this constructor is called you see that these many parameters have been initialized so these many parameters so these many parameters are initialized in the backend so whether you like it or not when you create set tcp new agent class tcp these parameters are initialized by default and each of these parameters will have a default value they will, so in the example we have seen in the morning tbr has 210 bytes we never specify 210 but how come 210 come automatically it is there in the default value okay so now we can see for something i will just show you this is the sequence number t sequence number duplicate acknowledgements cursor q highest acknowledgement congestion window slow start threshold maximum sequence count at round trip time so like this there are so many parameters are there in tcp so based on your when you understand tcp in the greater depth so you can able to use all these parameters now in this session we will use these parameters cwnd so see the variable name cwnd underscore so this thing we are going to use it now what we are going to do is we have created two tcp agents as per the design as per the network design we have created two tcp agents for one of the tcp agents we will print the congestion window we will print the congestion window so the parameter name is cwnd underscore now what is the value for this because c++ does not have directly the value will not be there it will have somewhere else there is a value is there i will show you that file so there is a file called as ns hyphen defaulted.tcl there is a file inside this file all the values have been set see agent slash tcp the sequence number 0 the t sequence number 0 maximum burst 0 aggressive ma maximum congestion window is 0 number of duplicate acknowledgement is 3 duplicate acknowledgements and uh, factors like this so window init is 2 window init option is 1 and synchron uh, sync is uh, true window option window constant so like this we have these many parameters have already been set whether you like it or not in the backend these values have been set when you create the one line set tcp new agent plus tcp these values are set in the backend so if you print this this value are getting printed okay now in this we will see that by default the congestion window is zero cwnd underscore this is a variable name zero now i am going to plot this congestion window for my network okay now i will close this file now here this is only two examples now what i do is i create a procedure now uh, similar like this 
Frog, frog means it is procedure. So I create a procedure here, frog plotting. I create a procedure plotting. I have two parameters. I will take it as TCP source file one. I will take two parameters. So in the finished procedure, there is no parameter. It's an empty, empty function, empty procedure. But now I have two things. Okay. So now what I do is uh, global ns. Then set uh, congestion. I will use congest my own variable name. Then dollar TCP source set cwnd underscore. Okay, I can understand this. What I am doing now? The cwnd underscore is a variable name which is already referred in the TCP class. Now I am going to call that because I am going to print the congestion window. I am called that and then I use this CWND. I give my own name as congest. Okay. So now what I do is set now dollar ns now. So the current timing. So what is the current timing in the simulation run? That value I want to record. So I give the name as now. Okay. So now I use one file name put as uh, dollar file one dollar now dollar congest. Now to understand what I am doing within this line. What is put as means? In NS2 put as means in TCL in put as means putting to the screen. But uh, here I am using file 1 means this is my file 1. File 1 is a parameter. So I am going to put everything writing to the file. File is not a creator. We are going to create it now. Okay, in the file 1 what are the two parameters I am going to see it is? One is dollar now. Now means this timing. Another thing is the congestion value. I am going to put it. Now, uh, for when my simulation is running, I need to put so many values. I need to put so many values. So I just what I do is dollar ns at expression dollar now plus point one dollar now plus point one plotting uh, dollar TCP source dollar file one. Okay, can you understand what is what is this? So plotting means now the function call. How will you call the function? Now as per this line, what is this line indicates? Dollar n s 6.0 finish means at 6.0 call the procedure finish. Finish does not have any parameters. That's why no parameter after the finish. But plotting has two parameters. So what I am doing is expression dollar now plus point one. So it is addition of two numbers. Point dollar now plus point one means increment point one. So plotting is a function which is called within the function. What is this function called? As? A function called by itself. Recursive. So what happens is recursive function. The function called itself. So what happens? The plotting every time when it calls, this value get incremented. Point 0.1. Then now, now plus point 0.1. Now plus point 0.2. Point 0.3. Point 0.4. It will get incremented. Then upon incrementing, this value will be recorded in the file. In the file one. The file one we are going to create now. Now what I am doing is set print. I use the file name as print. I mean the object as print open uh, congestion dot sorry I will I will use TCP congest TCP congest dot xgw. So the xg why I am giving the name is xg is for x graph. I am going to plot the characteristics in x graph. That is why I am using xg. So TCP congest means I am going to uh, plot the TCP characteristics xg. Then dollar ns at 0, 0.0 plotting. Now what is the source TCP source name in this case? My TCP source name is TCP1. Which file I am going to record? The file name is TCP congest.xz. So the pointer name is print. So plotting space dollar TCP1 dollar print. That's it. Now once this plotting means it will go to, go to the function here instead of procedure, then it will do all this stuff. Then what is the source name? TCP1. So the TCP1 will be getting recursively printed till the simulation is completed. My simulation completes at 6.0. Now I will run it. NS TCP dot TCL. Done. Okay. Now I will have a file called as TCP. Can you see that? 
so it records 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 up to 0.59 because I use up to 6.0. So the congestion window initial value is 1 as we seen that window init option is 1. After that the congestion window increase. Okay. So now when I want to plot this character 6, when I want to plot this, the command is x graph tcp congest dot xg. This is my congestion window. How the congestion window of my network is being plotted? So I have started the network at point 0.1. I mean uh, somewhere around point 0.2 I suppose. I will show you. And the value is 1 here. Then initially 1. After a period of time, the congestion window comes to 20. Then the congestion window moves like this. So this is how the congestion window is printed for TCP. Okay. Now the same network. Now you got the result. Now the same network. I will be changing to TCP regards. I will change the protocol as TCP Vegas. What I do is, in the same file, uh, I use TCP 1, right? So, TCP 1 here. So, the TCP 1 is pointed by TCP. I use PEGIS Vegas. I use TCP Vegas. And the congestion file name, I will change it to uh, Vegas Congest, PEGIS. Again, the extra file to Vegas Congress. Okay. So now, again, ns tcp dot tcl. Run it. Then x graph tcp congest Vegas. So I, I will be having two graph. Already I have pl plotted tcp congest. Now I have plotted Vegas congest. I am going to plot both the characteristics. Now, can you see the two waveforms? See green and red. So, red color, see that this is the red color which is the TCP congestion, but Vegas, you can see the congestion window. So, by seeing this, we can easily understand that the congestion is more in TCP, but it is very good in Vegas. The congestion does not, but, but for the same network, for the same protocol, for the, for the same set of packets and networks, the congestion, see, mostly it is constant. So that's what it is called a slow start threshold. It will come to the slow start. So after incrementing 5, the value is always maintained 5. It's only maintained 5 point something. It never goes beyond it. So the congestion is good, better handled in Vegas than compared to the other. So like this, there are 11 protocols supported in NS2. You can try all the 11 protocols, how the congestion happened for each and every protocol. Okay, maybe I will try uh, one more. What I do is I will, there is one more thing, Reno I suppose, uh, TCP, Vegas, Reno I will try. I think Reno and TCP both are more or less same, but anyhow we will try that. Oh. Yeah, see more, both are same. The red and uh, blue, the red and green, both are in the same thing. So TCP and Reno, mostly both are same. So like this, you have so many other TCP protocols, you can try each one of them. So that way you can compare the different protocol. This is a congestion window calculation. How to print the congestion window. Maybe if you feel that you can uh, copy this, copy this program, I will show you. 